MIG welding that is the metal inert gas welding is a type of arc welding process where we use a consumable wear electrode and an inert gas to perform the joining process. It is widely used in sheet metal and automobile industries. Let us now try to see the important components of a MIG welding setup. First the shielding gas cylinder. Now what is a shielding gas and why is it required? Uh, in MIG welding process. Actually when we heat any metal to its molten state it has a tendency to react with atmospheric oxygen and form metal oxides and in this way corrosion starts from the uh, welded region. Example of this is steel. Steel have a uh, very sm uh, small portion of chromium which protects it from corrosion but during welding as the feying region melts, the chromium layer is altered and a reaction with oxygen results in the formation of oxide fo formation. Thus, shielding gases are provided over the weld pool. They form a blanket of gases and prevent the weld pool from, from coming in contact with the atmosphere. For shielding, we generally use novel or inert gas such as argon, helium, hydrogen, etc. We choose novel gases because these gases do not react with metals under any circumstances. This is because they are chemically very stable and the outermost shell is saturated and thus they do not have any affinity to lose or gain electrons from other metals. So to pump these gases we have a cylinder. Now our next element is the wear electrode. The electrode is a consumable type that is it gets deposited in the weld pool and it is continuously fed in the welding region from this roll. Next comes the welding torch or the electrode holder. It has a provision for holding the wear electrode and depositing it in the weld pool. Also there is a small chamber through which the shielding gases are supplied from the cylinder. A small nozzle is provided at the mouth of the electrode to spray the shielding gases into the weld zone. Next important element is the power source. Usually in MIG welding DC power supply is used with re reverse polarity. Reverse polarity means the wear electrode is connected to the positive terminal and the workpiece is connected to the negative terminal of, of the battery. So as a result more heat will flow through the positive terminal that is the elect electrode which will finally melt it. Now let us see the detailed working principle. Suppose I want to weld these two work pieces. So the welding torch is introduced and the connection is made with the positive terminal of the DC supply. The work piece is then connected to the negative terminal of the battery using a metal clamp. Now the shielding gas cylinder is introduced. The gases uh, flow through the welding torch through a pipe connected to the cylinder. Finally, the electrode is fed into the electrode holder from the wear roll. Now to start the welding we need the arc. The arc is initiated by scratching the workpiece metal with the electrode like this. Okay, And uh, once the work, uh, arc has been generated we have to maintain a uniform thickness, a gap of 2 to 3 mm between the workpiece and the electrode throughout the welding process. The arc is actually an ionized channel of plasma which is electrically very conducting. Thus the welding is performed even without making any physical contact of the electrode with the workpiece. So this was all about the detailed uh, working, uh, working of the uh, MIG welding. If you have any doubts you can ask me in the, in the comment section. Thank you.